Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Film Club. It's been a while, but I have actually finally watched a couple of films, so let's talk about it. And today we are joined by Freddy. He is just asleep. I'm pretty sure I saw the trailer for Nobody years ago and I just never saw it. But then now it's on Netflix, I thought, yes, absolutely, I'm gonna watch this. I've just come off my high of John Wick 4 and I need some more just brutal killing films. And this is brilliant. This is almost if you took John Wick 1, dialed down the violence maybe a little bit, but also upped the acting so much that it's actually <laughs> brilliant all-round film. I mean, I genuinely never thought I would see the day of <laughs> seeing Christopher Lloyd run around with a shotgun just blasting people. I mean, oh my, that fantastic. I just genuinely, this film is so much fun. Bob Odenkirk does a fantastic job in this film. Like, genuinely, one of my gripes with John Wick is that the acting is pretty shoddy, whereas this, this gives me the great acting as well as the action. I think another thing I liked about this as well is it's almost a bit realistic. Like, he isn't perfect, he isn't indestructible, he gets damaged he gets stabbed, he, he loses parts of the fight. Like on the bus for example, he, there was a point where he was down and out. I honestly think some of the violence in this was actually more gory and brutal than John Wick. I loved some of them. Like That sounds weird to say, I love the gore, but genuinely, I did. I think the editing of this film fits the genre perfectly. It's fun, it's snappy, it's not too serious. The beginning sequence where it's just him going through his day, I think that's min- Not too long, not too short, perfect length, perfect acting, perfect action. Uh, just this film was brilliant. Go watch it. It's on Netflix now. I've never ever seen Goodwill Hunting. I don't know if that's like a, a bad thing or but it's just a film that I've genuinely never watched and I thought you know what let's watch it. I like Matt Damon. I like Ben Affleck. I like Casey Affleck. I like Robin Williams. I like Stellan Skarsgård. This this is a stacked cast like realistically. Maybe not for its time but if you saw this cast now you'd be like what? But this was a genuinely like really nice film. It's got one of those nostalgic feels to it, like an like an autumn day where it's just like it feel the the film feels warm. The the, the film is like a warm hug that, that that just embraces you. Is the acting in this film perfect? Absolutely not. But there is some stellar scenes in this film, like Matt Damon's breakdown scene at the end with Robin Williams. Both actors just do a brilliant job of like portraying the character and the background that each character has and the hardships that both have. Overall, this film, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I did finally watch it. It is just a nice film. X has been on my films to watch list for absolutely ages and I've just never got around to doing it. I think the film looked brilliant in the trailers. I'm a fan of Mia Goth, General Ortega and it's an A24 film so how could you go wrong really? This film was just, I don't want to say it's fun because it is supposed to be like a horror film but it absolutely was just so much fun. This film is such a calling to like really old school slasher films and I am all here for it. Like the dirtiness of the film and the, the rudeness of it is so uh, uh, yeah, it just all fits in perfectly. You almost feel like you're playing a video game. How we get introduced to each of these characters and they've all got their own little quirks and quips and then suddenly you get these little snippets of like, maybe this place isn't right. The gore in this film is perfect. It's not overly gory, but it doesn't shy away from it. And some of the deaths, like, spoiler alert, but the crocodile death, that was fantastic. I was like, Jesus Christ. The setting of the film on a farm with a lake in the middle of, no oh, it was just genuinely just, this film is so much fun. Mia Goth puts in an absolutely brilliant performance. I think she fits this genre so well. I watched an interview where she said she didn't really want to get too much into the horror thing, but it just kind of fell into a lap and I think she fits it fantastically. After watching X and really, really loving it, I decided to go see Pearl because it's essentially, well, not even essentially, it is a prequel to, to X. Pearl is a film about the old woman who goes on a murderous rampage in X, but while she is still young. And it's played by Mia Goth as well from, from X. If I had to pick out the two, I think X is still probably better in my opinion, but both almost just give different the vibes and feels. You can't really compare the two. I love the callbacks to the first film in Pearl, like the intro scene where, where, where the, the, the camera pans out and it's all nice instead of all being dead bodies. Or how when she's on the scarecrow that's essentially a mirror of the first kill in X. The mirroring of that is brilliant and I love just, I just love all the like the, the horror slasher classic tropes in this and it doesn't shy away from those tropes and yet it does it in such a way that it's not too annoying or in your face or like oh here we go again. It works so well. I actually think Mia Goth's performance in Pearl is better than her performance in X. I think in this film I was actually blown away by like her acting performance. The scene where she's in the kitchen with the blonde girl and she's like almost doing a confession is just like that was top tier acting. This film is also just so unsettling like the, the end credits where she's just smiling and like crying and I don't even know for, for 
what is essentially like five to ten minutes of her is just like crazy, but Mia Goff just stole the show in this film for me. Absolutely stole it. But the cinematography is brilliant as well. I'm actually so excited because they're doing another film, Maxine, which is like a sequel to X. So it's like Pearl X Maxine. Genius. Absolutely genius. I can't wait for that film. It's going to be so good. But anyway, that's been all from me and that's been all from the film club this week. If you did enjoy it, please like down below and consider subscribing. It does help us out massively. But anyway, that is all from me and I'll see you next time on the film club.